Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an athlete profile video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Athlete profile videos are a great way to introduce your team's players to your fans, and they can be a lot of fun to make. So today we're going to pretend we're involved with an adult baseball team called the Roadrunners. We can use Doodly to make animated baseball cards for each of the players on the team. Now before we start, we need to decide whether we're going to make one long video with all of the players or a series of individual videos, one for each player. Today I think I'll go with the individual videos. Since baseball cards are traditionally in a vertical format, we're going to create a vertical video. You'll see this first scene has my take on the traditional baseball card front. You know, you've got the player, you've got his name, you've got the logo, and everything's kind of big. Now on the back, I didn't build this all the way out, but this is the concept. We're going to have a stadium in the background, very light, then the stats for the player, and then of course the logo. I'm going to go back to my videos, and we're going to start from scratch. And we're going to call it whatever you want to call it. We're going to call it Roadrunners. Right now, by default, it's this whiteboard in the horizontal format. We want to change that. We want that vertical. So it is a custom format. You go down here and you want to turn off this little check mark. And then you're going to type in these numbers 1080 by 1920. And essentially, we're just flipping the horizontal video on its side. Click create. The first thing I want to do is start with that frame. You may recall I had those little dots, little rectangular frame. So that is inside Doodly. And if you go to props and then type in rectangle, scroll down. Some of these I had imported, but this is the one I used here, this dotted rectangle. You could also use the dashed one if you prefer. Let's use that today. And then you select it and then click on this little um, rounded arrow to flip it on its side. And then next, let's bring our baseball player in. Earlier, I had uploaded him, and I want to show you two things. The first one I uploaded, and he has a background. It's a white background, but notice how it covers up the little lines, and then you're like, well, I could put it behind it. Well, you're not going to be able to do that in this example because this frame has a solid white interior. So what I did is I took my image and removed the background. I did it in Pixelmator Pro, but there are some online background removal tools that you can use that will automatically do that. So let's go ahead and find that logo. And then we wanted his name to stand out. And there is a nice little banner included in Doodly. Properly titled banner. Again, we're just gonna add these. We're not replacing anything. So when Doodly prompts you, just say add. So let's add his name. I used Robo Roboto Bold in my first example, so I'll just use it again. Now, if we'd like, we could put his position in. Let's say he's the pitcher. Maybe put his years that he plays. So let's just say 2022. Pitcher. Okay, so I like that. That's our first, first scene, the front of the baseball card. So let's go ahead and do our second scene. And this one has that background, which we will also put in the other one as well, but let's start by putting it here. So let's go ahead and find that. And I had uploaded a photo of a stadium right here, the Lights Night Stadium Mixed Media. I found this on Freepik and I want it really large. One thing I do want to do is make it very faint. So you go up here to the gear icon and opacity. Right now it's 100%. I want it 20%. And of course you get this orange overlay so it's kind of hard to see what happens there. 
So let's add some text. And when I select the text, you can see how light that background is now. And you want this to be nice and large, player stats. Now, before we get too deep in here, let's go ahead and copy and paste this background. So Command C or Control C, depending on your operating system. And then let's go back to our original and Control V or Command V, depending on your operating system. And that's very nice, except for it's covering everything. So we want to move this to the very bottom and let's select some text so you can see. So you'll see we still have this solid white behind our character and I think that's fine. But then we have a little bit of a frame around the frame of that same image. And I think that looks pretty neat. Let's go back and let's go ahead and build our player stats. copying and pasting right now because I like the size. I am not a baseball person so I don't know if these numbers are any good or not so just bear with me okay. I'm just making stuff up as I go along. Okay so that gives you an idea. You don't need to be perfect here. And then let's have a little um, fun little saying from the guy. Since this is a quote by our guy, I think it would be fun to put that in a speech bubble. So let's go to props and, and we want to send that behind and that looks pretty good. Last but not least, if we wanted, we could add the logo, just copying and pasting. And then finally, we just need to do some fiddling with the timing of everything. I'm going to settings. And first thing, I, I always like to turn this off, erase mode. You may know that about me, but if you don't like the hand erasing before he draws, that's how you turn it off. And then, I want to go into my first image here. This is my player. I'm going to zoom out because I can't get to the top. Here we go. And let's have him, instead of scribbling on, we'll have him fade on. I'm going to do the same for the background. I also want that to be fast. One second. Same with this banner. It needs to come on fast. So I don't need three seconds for it. And then at the end of the scene, I like a little bit of time so people can see it and absorb it and read the text. Since this is the main image of our player, let's leave it on a little bit longer. I'm going to go with four and a half seconds. And then we're going to go over to our stats page and we're going to pretty much do the same. So we want this to fade on. We want it to be really quick. And do we want this to come on at the end or I think probably right after the background comes on. And then scene settings at the very end. Again, depending on if you're gonna be talking or whatnot, let's just give it some time. Let's add a little music just for fun. This baseball song is not, you know, we'll take me out to the ball game or anything. It's just some random music that we have here. Let's add a little more time so that it ends with our music. Before we watch the final version, I want to mention that you can now use this video as a template for all of your other players. So what you'll need to do is, of course, save it. And then when you go into my videos, you've got Roadrunner player James Jackson right here. You can duplicate it. You just click it duplicate it, say okay, and then you have a copy. And then you'll just go into that copy, replace the photo, change the name, change the stats, and everything else will be there. The timing will be there, the logo will be there, the frames will be there, the music will be there, and so on. Okay, let's take a quick look and then we will be done.
remember, this is where you're talking and introducing him to the fans. That's how you can create your own player profiles for your team. Thanks for watching.